I promise you on everything I love, I was not going to make this video today. I, I really wasn't. Um, <clears throat> but I've had some, a, a lot of people send me, you know, messages um, directly, friends talking to me, inbox messages or whatever about the situation. And I wasn't going to talk about it, you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't want to make an emotional video uh, based on my emotions and my feelings and stuff like that. And I didn't want to mess up my opinions and things based on my emotions. Because I was pissed off when I heard about this story, man. But fuck it, I'm, I'm going to talk about it. Um, and shout out to the person that really put me over the edge to, to talk about this. My um, my brother, Moses. Uh, Moses, what's up, man? I ain't seen you in a while. But anyways, I love you, boy. But anyways, um, let me let me give you a quick background. You see you see the title. You know what I'm about to talk about. Let me give you a quick background of me. I was in the military for five years, and I was against college. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't going to go to college or nothing like that. <clears throat> I didn't believe in the system. But then a few years ago, in 2014, I decided to go to college because I wanted to see what it was all about. And I can't not uh, like something or dislike something um, if I don't know about it. So I tried it out. And I went to college. Um, it, it was cool, you know. I met a lot of friends, learned a lot of book things and stuff like that. Um, got my associate's degree, and I'm about 15 credits short of my bachelor's degree. So I don't have my bachelor's degree right now. Um, but I'll probably go back and finish it. Depends. I don't know. But anyways, um, this story really bothers me because, personally for me, it bothers me because... Um, you know, I got a nephew who's an outstanding basketball player. He's probably the number one eighth grader going into the ninth grade players, top five in his class in the country. And his name is John Paul Mobley Jr. You heard me talk about him before. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be his agent when he goes to the NBA. And, you know, for me, I don't have a bachelor's degree. <laughs> and for the NCAA to make this rule, it's so stupid. Now, of course, I'm mad because, you know, it'll affect me because I don't have a bachelor's degree, but I could easily go and finish up and, and get one. But that's that's not the point. Uh, the point is, um, I try to be as real and genuine as I can. And I and I stay away from fakers, man. I, I don't like fake shit at all. I don't like nothing fake. I don't like <laughs> fake anything, especially fake people, fake businesses, organizations. And, uh, you know, I don't I, I don't want to be. I'm trying to watch my words here. Um, I try to be politically correct. You know, and I'm not about to talk about po politics, but I, I don't like talking about uh, politics or, or religion because people have their things. But I'm about to be, I guess, unpolitically correct when I say this. Um, the NCAA is basically a plantation, man. Um, I can't stand the NCAA, you know? <clears throat> especially when it comes to basketball players and i'm not you know i'm nba jerry and this is jerry's nba talk tv so i'm not talking about you know football or tennis or any you know baseball or nothing like that because i'm not up on that like that but i do know about ncaa uh when it comes to basketball basketball players and the one and done rule is so damn stupid it's ridiculous and i'll get into that in a minute but this rule that they said <laughs> that you have to have a bachelor's degree to represent a player to before you be an agent because you want to help the player and not get taken advantage of because you know a lot of players will hire you know someone like me like some, an uncle or a family member or something like that even some shady people um you know because the ncaa doesn't want the player to get taken advantage of first of all that's none of your fucking business nc2a that's number one who they who they hire as an agent that's number one and number two you don't give a damn about their their well-being and how much money they make. If that's the case, you pay them while they're playing and making you hundreds of millions of dollars. Billions of dollars. So get the hell out of here with that. That's so stupid. That is so fake. That's what I'm saying. I, I cannot stand the NCAA because, you know, I know the collective bargaining agreement is coming up, I think, in 2022. And hopefully they get rid of that one-and-done bullshit and, and just get the hell away from the NCAA because... You know, you're 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 taking an NBA fan who really loves the NBA and making you hate making it hate the NCAA because basically they're like slave owners over there. They are making so much money off these fucking players, it's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Now it's one thing to sell to sell uh, 
your product of, oh, they're just amateurs and you need to leave them alone and you can't be doing this and you can't be doing that. And I, I understand all that. I get it. But the problem is they're amateurs, but you're not. You're running a business and you're making buku cash off these amateurs. You know what I'm saying? So for you to pretend like you're trying to look out for them, you're just doing this because you don't like Rich Paul and LeBron James and how much power they have. Because Ben Simmons is part of that part of that argument too. Because Ben Simmons is a is a big big enemy of the NCAA when he was at LSU. Because you saw his documentary, you heard what he said, and everything he said was right. And if you don't know what he said, look it up. Type in Ben Simmons NCAA or something like that. You know, he he goes off on them, and he everything he said was right, man. They're making all this money off these kids and don't give them nothing. Now I know what some of them say, oh man, they give them, they give them an education, this, that, and the third. <laughs> and that's true. They do give them education, but come on. Okay? Come on. The education that they're giving them is nothing compared to the money they make back off these boys. You know, they can pay these boys a million dollars a piece each on the bench. Everybody on the team, a million dollars a piece. Look how much the coaches make. They could pay every player a million dollars a piece and then wouldn't put a dent in the amount of money they make. So Rich Paul is a powerful, powerful agent. Um, I believe, I'm, I'm a firm believer in street smarts versus book smarts. Now I'm not saying there's not a place for books, book smarts. Listen, if you wanna be a doctor, get a degree. You gotta be a doctor to get a degree in, in lawyers and stuff like that. But I don't think you need a bachelor's degree to be an agent. You gotta be out there with the players. You gotta know people. You gotta know the business, you know, stuff like that. And Rich Paul is the best of them right now. He's got, you know, the best player under him. And for you to put this rule, be, you know, with Rich Paul because you don't like him, you're trying to control your product, that shit ain't cool, man. That, that's that's not cool at all. So NBA Jerry is completely against this stupid-ass rule. Um, it's dumb as hell. I don't like it. And uh, the NC2A to me is, is a plantation, man. You know, I, and I hate to say that. I hate to be like, oh, you know, the, the white man's against the black man. I don't even try to talk like that, man. You know, I, I don't, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And you guys know the NBA is, you know, a high percent of the NBA and, 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 the, and the best players in the world are African-Americans. We know this. So for the NCAA to do this to a black man like Rich Paul and LeBron James trying to do their thing, it just ain't fair, man. Th these rules are so damn stupid. I cannot... I cannot tell you how bad this is, man. This is this is really, really dumb. This lady just walked by looking at me crazy. <laughs> but anyways, um, no, nah, I don't like it. In a, you know, in a, in a long-winded version or way to tell you that. I've been thinking about this shit all day, and I was not going to make this video, man. You know what I'm saying? I was done with it. Then my boy Moses hit me up, so my brother Moses. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you guys think that this rule is fair i'm sure i know what you guys are going to say and uh what do you think what do you think about this rule man you know let me know in the comment section below and uh tell me what you think all right really i really i really want to know what you guys think leave me a comment all right and do me a favor if you like this video you know this is this is kind of a homework assignment if you like this video hit the like button and tell me why if you dislike the video they seem like they like it if you dislike the video Hit the dislike button tell me why and also do me a favor share this video if you like it or if you don't like it share it you know how you share things with people listen these girls over here buying that thing they're dressed up like uh baywatch go out to the beach man you're gonna see some baywatch chicks if you go out there that's my that's my thing share i'm sharing information with you share information with people about this video all right but if you don't like this video and you don't like my channel you think my videos are stupid and you thought this video was too long get the hell out of here unsubscribe and don't don't tell, don't tell nobody nothing because you already know i don't give a damn i love y'all boys and when you see me holla at me peace